Hello everyone and welcome to this training video in which we will see how to fly the Airbus H145 but we won't be using the autopilot um, because there are many uh, different ways to fly this helicopter today we will be seeing how to fly without the autopilot now um, I already did a complete uh, stop up and shut down video for this helicopter and I started uh, the helicopter exactly as per the uh, start up procedure uh, presented in uh, the video and here just so that when you're practicing it's set up the same all has been done on here back of SAS if you want 82 accept that and this is how you should uh, uh, really uh, configure the helicopter for flight uh, even if you don't intend to use the autopilot so additionally of course, when you purchase the helicopter, I would highly recommend you read uh, the manual and set all the key bindings. There are lots and lots of things uh, to cover. I don't, I won't go into detail. Otherwise, it will be a way too long uh, video. But here, just uh, to show you a few things here: equipment as uh, required, then options also as required, uh, temperature, etc., and set. This is where I want to spend a little bit of time. So uh, here, hands-on detection, it's when uh, the helicopter will detect that you are uh, moving this cycle. Okay, I put it on five, it's like a dead zone here, as you can see. Uh, pedals, uh, feet on detection, okay, because uh, the pedals are controlled by the feet. So five here, five here, also. Cyclic trim system, software, pedal trim system, software. That's because I have self-centering joysticks and rotor trim state, of course, you want it on for uh, uh, the most realistic setting. Advanced options on, cyclic follow-up trim. Hover is the realistic mode and cyclic uh, displays reset time. Um, I don't know exactly what they do, but I leave it on the minimum. And then collective increase, decrease step size. Okay, it means that when you're raising collective, how you want it to increase. I put it on the smallest so that I have the most control. Okay, and once again, you can go ahead and set it up uh, as you require. I will just uh, put it out of the way. Now, here on the cyclic, a button that will be extremely important is the trim release. Okay, you have to have this button mapped, otherwise. Uh, flying this helicopter will be very, very, very difficult. We'll be fighting against the autopilot or even against the. Um, now, just by turning it on, a kind of semi autopilot is already activated. Okay, except that you don't have the modes here, all you hold, and you hold, etc. But it's kind of semi active. And to kind of hand fly the helicopter, you need to press the trigger release. And you will see here, uh, let me zoom uh, because anyway it's not animated on the cyclic. When I'm pressing trim release, you will have override. It means that it's overriding all the uh, autopilot modes. And even when none are active here, like I said, there is some kind of semi autopilot mode active. And you will see what I mean when we are flying. Press, you will have the override and you hand fly the helicopter, release. And now, as um, we will see when we take off, the helicopter will be behaving in a certain way. Okay, so for take off, of course here, read the manual, get familiar with uh, what uh, the MFD, etc. are displaying as information. Here, when I will be raising collective, this is what I'm going to use. Okay, here. Okay, and of course, my airspeed is here and my altitude. So for today, we are going to see how to fly using that trim release I've been talking about. So another interesting thing is, yeah, I can have an indication of the wind direction and speed based on the uh, notch here that you have. Once again, everything is explained in the manual. So when taking off, I'm going to press and hold the trim release and we will have the override displayed here okay and here the helicopter is kind of uh, going to uh, have your damper anyway so 
unless you need it you can use the pedals but otherwise uh, just press trim release as you can see here override and then raise collective Helicopter is light on the, the skates and then lift off into a harbor. As you can see, I'm still holding, pressing and holding B3 with this button. Here, helicopter light on skid. I do a power check so that I know how much power the helicopter needs to harbor. Now, I'm using the pedal to turn. And so, I did not require pedals to. Maintain you know, the heading. There it is. Still holding all the time. I've been holding the trim release button. Now I'm just gonna take off. Just look here. I'm still holding. Still holding. Okay, now I'm gonna release and you will see the override disappear and look at, uh, let me put it in an attitude, I release and there it is, okay, the helicopter will maintain that attitude, that's what I was talking at the semi autopilot mode and now you can use the trim, okay, to right here up down like you would okay and the helicopter is going to maintain okay whatever attitude it has been put in like this okay trim up trim up okay let's uh, trim to the left now i'm using only trim not the uh, cyclic trim to the left there it is. Now level off. Uh, so trim down to bring it to level flight. And adjust accordingly. I can see uh, what's uh, written here. Maybe on the video I don't know how it, 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 it can turn. Of course, when it's indicating one and it's above, like here. Now I'm not climbing or descending. So now I'm descending. Okay, so let's uh, level off and now I'm climbing, etc. So easy to understand. Okay, now let's say I want to establish level flight. I will now trim to the right, and there it is. No autopilot mode engage, and there it is. Just the trim. Okay, it's exactly holding it as. I've trimmed it. Now, of course, from time to time, not using the cyclic, only the trim. This is how accurate it is. And now if I want to kind of um, use the cyclic again, I press and hold trim release. And you can, as you can see here, override. And now I can use the cyclic as I would normally. Okay. If you need to make a uh, Corrections like I'm doing here, which will be definitely inconvenient if you're just using the cyclic. And there it is. And if, for example, here I release whatever uh, attitude it is, I release the trim release here. I just release it. Okay, message disappears and it will maintain. Okay, now you can continue to trim. So, of course. When you want to make big changes, you use the trim release. And here, not using the pedal at all. All the time, the helicopter was in trim by itself. The helicopter self trims. Okay, your damper is on. And uh, there it is. Okay, so it's a very, very easy helicopter to fly. And actually, I wouldn't recommend it to kind of um, train as a beginner how to fly helicopters because it's so easy you won't be developing the right skills and I'm sure you will be doing all the automated 
uh, features like auto takeoff and that kind of thing. We will never develop the right skills to fly helicopters. Start with the R22 or our Robinson R44 or G2 Cabri and then complete your instrument training and then you can fly those helicopters because you know you have the required pilot skills so even if you're flying a very sophisticated and advanced helicopter like this one you know what you have in your baggage so there it is I'm just going to head back to the airport and then on the helipad from which I took off so here, yeah, very easy, I'm not even you know, having to use the cyclic, just trimming. Very easy to fly helicopter and this is the uh, civilian version. Uh, little by little we will see all the different variants. Okay, so here I'm just going to head back and land the airport. As you can see here, override. Indicating I have uh, the trim release button pressed so that I have full control over the helicopter. And you will see that override up to the point where I actually land. That's how I fly the helicopter. Now Wonder Boom in Microsoft Flight Simulator is different uh, from uh, the explained version. So okay, I can spot now where the helipad is. Not a difficult at all. I think it's actually the easiest helicopter to fly in my hangar. Anyway, that's why I don't fly it that often, but it's a very, very nice helicopter, especially if you have the action pack and all. So, this was how to fly the helicopter without any uh, autopilot mode active, and uh, how to use the trim release, how to trim uh, the helicopter. So, in the next video, we will see how to use uh, the autopilot. I hope you find this video helpful, if you do please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in another video. Until then, take care, bye bye.